Occupational English Test Listening Test This test has three parts. In each part, you'll hear a number of different extracts. At the start of each extract, you'll hear this sound. You'll have time to read the questions before you hear each extract, and you'll hear each extract once only. Complete your answers as you listen. At the end of the test, you'll have two minutes to check your answers. Part A In this part of the test, you'll hear two different extracts. In each extract, a health professional is talking to a patient. For questions 1 to 24, complete the notes with information you hear. Extract 1. Questions 1 to 12. You hear part of a consultation between a neurologist and a patient called Peter Jackson. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. Morning, Mr. Jackson. Now, you've been referred to me by your GP, and I'm the first neurologist you've seen, I think. That's right. I think my GP's got some ideas about what my problem may be, but he sent me here, you know, to double check. Okay. I've got some notes here with his referral letter, but it'd be helpful if you could tell me in your own words the symptoms you first noticed. Well, there were several things which started early last year. They don't sound too bad individually, but together they were affecting me quite a bit. I guess the worst thing was, well, feeling absolutely shattered, you know, feeling exhausted most of the time, even when I'd not been doing much. I'd never suffered from depression, but I started feeling a bit down. There wasn't a specific trigger. And any physical pain then? Well, my right leg, it didn't ache exactly, but there was a real stiffness which made walking slower. And my neck was affected too. Again, not a pain, but more like a tightness. Yeah, that's how it felt. And it still does. Um, I started to get constipated too, and I'd never had a problem with that before. I see. And I noticed other things around the same time, like my handwriting. I used to write strong, big letters, everyone always said how distinctive it was. But it was shrinking. Weird how it had changed. I'm right-handed and I began to notice from time to time there was like, well, a spasm in that hand. It didn't happen often, but it was worrying. The worst thing though was something I noticed when I was in its standing position. You know, washing up or shaving. I'd suddenly feel really unstable on my feet. That must have been frightening. Yeah, I was always scared of toppling backwards. And I gather you've recently started to experience other symptoms? Yeah, this last month or so. It's funny, I used to love cooking, testing out different ingredients and stuff, but my sense of smell's just gone. I don't like preparing meals nearly as much. Then, something which drives me mad is that I keep forgetting things. I used to have such a good memory, and the really frustrating thing, especially for someone who was never exactly quiet is, that people keep on asking me to speak louder, but I just can't seem to raise the volume now. My mouth feels full of saliva too. It, it, it seems to build up more, so I'm wondering if that's got anything to do with it. Any physical activities you're finding hard? Oh yeah, driving's hard, so I don't use the car anymore. I can still use keys to lock doors, though sometimes it's tricky. But buttoning up cardigans and shirts is impossible now. It's so fiddly. I'm getting an electric toothbrush too, cause the manual one's so difficult. I'm ashamed to admit my wife insists on cutting up my food too, when she sees me struggling. Especially when things like, er, steak. And you went on to consult other GPs? Yeah, I saw two doctors in the same practice for a second opinion. The first mistakenly thought it was a trap nerve and the next sent me for a facial, saying it was probably a frozen shoulder. That was wrong. So he then thought it might be carp? 
carpal tunnel syndrome affecting my wrist. They were just investigating possible causes. Yeah, fair enough. And I'm hoping it's nothing serious. I mean, I don't think it's a brain tumor or anything. But I have started to worry that it might be multiple sclerosis. You know, given the symptoms, then my granddad had dementia. I desperately hope it's not that. I don't think so. And uh, looking at the tests you've had, a blood test and... A thyroid functional test. But I never heard anything back from that, so I'm assuming it was negative. Okay, well, I'm going to look at your notes again. Extract 2, questions 13 to 24. You hear an emergency doctor talking to a patient called Penny Rawford. For questions 13 to 24, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. Mrs. Rawford? So, I understand you've been brought in here because you fainted at work. That's right. Can you tell me a bit about it? Well, I can't really remember much. I was sitting at my desk and I suddenly got this really awful headache. My head felt like someone had fired a bullet into it. I've never had anything like it. I mean, I've had headaches before, but nothing serious. And this one was different because it was just in one place in my forehead here. And I can't remember what happened then, but my colleague sitting at the next desk, she saw me and she says I collapsed onto my desk. So she came over to help, but she says she couldn't wake me up and I was out for quite a few minutes. But I wasn't still. She says I was jerking, but I can't remember any of it. Apparently they called an ambulance and I do remember the paramedics arriving and I was able to answer some of their questions. Even though I was still feeling a bit groggy, they asked me if I'd had any sort of trauma before I fainted, but I hadn't. I'd woken up as normal and cycled into work. Nothing unusual. Oh, and they also wanted to know if I had taken any recreational drugs, but I wouldn't ever touch anything like that. I don't even drink alcohol. But they did ask me if I'd had any incontinence when I was unconscious, and I found that I'd leaked a bit of urine. I was ever so embarrassed, but they were quite okay about it. I suppose they're used to it. And once they'd got me into the ambulance, I felt really awful. I had this nausea, but they gave me something for it. It's not so bad now. Oh, that's good. So, how's your health been generally in the past? Have you ever had anything like this before? No, not really. I did go to the doctor a few years ago when I had some stomach pains. They did an endoscopy, but everything was normal and I've been fine since then. I'm usually quite healthy, all my family are. I've only ever had one operation and that was a few years back now, in 2014. It was just after I'd had my third child, I had to have a hysterectomy. But I've been fine since then. Oh, um, there was something about a year later. It must have been 2015. I'd been putting on a bit of weight and I thought it was because of the operation. But I'd been feeling a bit tired as well and getting these cramps at night. The doctors did some tests because they thought I might have an underactive thyroid, but it was okay. I think maybe I'd just been overdoing it a bit. Oh, that's excellent. Well, how do you feel now? It looks as if you've got a bit of bruising there on your face. Yes, and I think I've got a cut there too, a little one under my eye. That must be where I fell on my desk. I've still got a bit of a headache, but nothing like as bad as it was. I do feel as if my neck's a little stiff, but that might be because I've been lying down. And the paramedics asked me lots of questions to see if I had anything funny with my vision, but that's all okay. 
great. So now I'd like. That is the end of part A.